So we now know the 32 clubs that make up this year's Europa League, and we, of course, now know the groups that make up this year's competition. But which teams will go through to the knockout stages? Which teams will go home? We're going to take a little look next. <laughs> video today we're taking a look at the Europa League group stages and of course we'll take a look each each and every one of the groups over the next few days and we'll get to that in a second of course if you're new where you've been smash your subscribe and bounce all things Rovers related Europa League related world football related we got it all here boys under one rooski that's right of course we are going to be taking a look at each and every one of the match days for the Europa League that's of course to, to be had in the future of course but today here and now we're going to start of course our series uh, of course and taking a look at each and every one of the Europa League League groups and we'll get to that in a second of course big big shout out to my vips they are the patrons of course you know who you are but let's waste no more further ado and jump in the deep end of course take a look at what we're talking about Let's take a look then at the clubs that make up Group F in this year's champion, uh, the Europa League, of course. Let's take a look at it. Here they come in all their glory. We have Villarreal from Spain, of Rennes from La France. We have Maccabi Hafia from Israel. And of joining them are Panathinaikos, of course, coming at you from Greece. Those are the teams. These are the games. And here... I come. That's right. Goodness gracious me. We'll take a look at these games spending from the 21st of September all the way through to uh, December the 14th. Of course, uh, who's your instant gut feeling here? You're thinking Rennes, you're thinking Villarreal, but of course, this is the Europa League and anything can happen right here right now. So let's take a look at it. Of course, kick it all off with Rennes up against Maccabi Hafia over in La France. Of course, you would imagine the uh, French outfit should have too much in the tank. Going to go with a 3 0 win for those uh, to open up uh, uh, with a fantastic start to the campaign. Me on Panathinaikos, a long place to go. Go, difficult place to go uh, a lot of ultras hanging out in the in the, in the greek football i do think they're going to be uh, uh, uh you're gonna you're gonna hear them but unfortunately i think there'll be too much quality for ben barrett and diaz's boys that is villarreal 2-1 win for them on the road meanwhile the two winners of the first legs or first matches will lock horns in the second with villarreal hosting Rennes in spain two to win for the spanish outfit for me on this one to make it back-to-back -back wins fantastic start for them and of course looking good already for the knockout stage maccabi hafia will take a panthenicos in a must win game for either two sides and the israeli the outfit will get the ring and of course will give themselves a chance an outside sniff or at least continue with the european adventure whether it is the conference league or whether it is the uh, next round here of course villarreal then host maccabi happier and dent their hopes big time with a three nil win good discretion me and panathinaikos in match number three on the 26th of october will host star Rennes, of course and they'll get a win goodness gracious me which of course will shape up the bottom of the pile there uh as of course villarreal three for three looking good and of course then of course Rennes, uh just the one different one win alongside maccabi happier alongside of course Panathinaikos heading into the second half of this uh, uh, group here Rennes will then host Panathinaikos and they'll do them uh, we'll, we'll kind of flip the tables on them with a 2 new win over in La France and of course the Israelis will take a draw from Villarreal to give themselves a bit of an outside sniff maybe even to continue their European adventure into we go the final couple of games here match number 5 it is Maccabi Hafia getting another point against Rennes at home again a tricky place to go long place to go a lot of travelling involved uh, for Rennes on this one, going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw in the end and a point in the bag for Maccabi Hafia. Meanwhile, Villarreal, the Spanish team, will get a 3-1 win over Panathinaikos, which will all but secure their spot uh, in the knockout stages and, of course, uh, into the next round, I would imagine. And into the final games, we go on the December the 14th, match number 6. Rennes will host Villarreal. 2-1 win for the French outfit, of course, gives Villarreal their first defeat and Panathinaikos taking the spoils with a 2-1 win over Maccabi Hafia, of course. What's an all? A couple of wins there for Panathinaikos. Is it enough to kind of get themselves into uh, continued European football or will there be some other surprises in the mix we've got Maccabi Hafia 11-1 for the victory here the group here 8-1 to is your Panathinaikos Rennes are 12-5 and Villarreal are 7-4 at the minute for me got Maccabi Hafia in fourth spot of course unfortunately they, their journey will come to an end Panathinaikos will have six points of course squeak through to of course the Europa Conference League and then start Rennes in second spot with 10 and of course Villarreal wrap up the top there with 13 points on the board and looking a-okay for themselves heading into the next round so there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. There's, of course, my early door prediction for this group over in the Europa League. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below, of course. And, of course, make sure you smash your thumbs up and smash your subscribe button. Your one-stop shop for Europa League continues, of course, throughout the rest of the week and, of course, into the future as we look forward to those early door match days. But that, my friends, is all what I've got for you. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, hit the little bell. And, of course, let me know down below who you think out of this group will qualify through the knockout stages, of course. Until then, guys, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll catch you later for the next one.